guys, it's been a minute. Um, hopefully there's nothing in my teeth. I just ate lunch. Uh, it's been a minute since I've updated this channel. So hopefully we can keep this going. Um, my plan is to continue updating, but let's just go ahead and get started. You will see in this video that I am still pregnant during it because when I filmed this video, I was pregnant and I am not now. So I found these clips on my computer and I was just thinking to myself the other day, wow, my ball pythons cage looks pretty cool. I was like, it's a, it's a more beginner type setup or maybe for someone who doesn't necessarily want to do the live vivarium background or the foam and all of that stuff because it does take a lot of time, effort, and sometimes money depending on what sales you can find. So I figured I would finally put this video together and put it up for you guys. And then when I was editing, I was like, <laughs> I forgot to also film an intro. So fast forward um, a handful of months later and here we are and my ball pythons cage still looks like this. I am hoping to do some really fun cage build outs pretty soon here. I need to do one for my bullfrog. I need to do one for my green tree python. I need to do one for my tegu. I need to do one for my iguana. Um, so let me know which one you're most excited to see in the comments below. And if you are stoked to have content back on this channel, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out big time. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Take it away, pregnant me. So I started taking Noodle's cage apart and then um, put on this lock so that he can no longer get out, which I got on Amazon. It comes with this little guy, so I'll link you guys. These are super necessary. The first time he got out, I kind of just thought like maybe it got left open a tiny bit and he pushed it open but the last time he got out this whole thing was literally just like hanging off like he is one strong boy so I'm gonna pull these off and clean those but we are going to decorate the inside one thing that I don't have today that I would like to incorporate into his enclosure is levels like I'd like to get some other types of levels to put up so he can hide under and you know use the space above too and I'd also like to make him a naturalistic vivarium background which I'm not going to do right now but I do want to make it better than it currently is because as he's got everything he needs it's pretty boring um so eventually I will build out the background like I've done with some of my other enclosures like my anoles which as you can see has like all the backgrounds, the little ledges and all the good stuff in there. So I'll get to that eventually, but today let's at least make it a little more comfortable until I'm ready to pull the thing out of there and redo the entire uh, sides. He's taking a little nap. Got my rep to ship in here and it says to put uh, for temperate and tropical species add three quarts, which is 12 cups of warm water to expand the chip. So I've got nine cups right here and I gotta go get some more. put this little thing together and like I said I prefer vivariums like these plants look pretty fake to me <laughs> but hey at least it's more greener greenery than we had in here before and I don't see me being able to do all of this before I have my baby so this will do um, I'm gonna go put ahead and put the substrate in here this is where our warm hide is gonna be you can see my probe over here that's um what measures the temp and I have it on a little thermoregulator up here um so that it stays exactly the temp that we want it to be. Getting up and down is so much more difficult when you're like 30 pounds heavier. Whew. For fun, I think I wanna do like a little section of rocks over here just so he has 
something a little different to, you know, a little different texture and feel. This is his moist hide that I just cleaned and got all ready to go. I also have like so many fake plants, if you can see over here. So I'll link you guys to a lot of these that I get. I get them on Amazon. They're not actually for reptile cages, most of them, and they're much cheaper that way. I would also really like to do something to this hide like I did with my Tegu's hide which I did a tutorial video on and I will link it to you guys in the description box below, but basically covered this and made it look super natural, which I love the look of. So I'd like to do that to this at some point. Today, Satan.